Hello to all students. I hope you are doing fine. Today we are going to discuss lecture or video on fungus which is known as penicillium. Penicillium notatum usually known as blue green mold. It has many species and molds are specialized fungus which have filamentous body. The unicellular or single celled fungus are known as yeast while multicellular and filamentous fungus are usually mold because they are usually blue or green in color that is why we call them blue green molds usually they are found on growing on the dead and rotten fruits and vegetables and bread present at in at your home usually green colored molds you can see on the de dead and decaying bread or fruits and vegetables so let's look at the first of all we are going to look at the vegetative structure of a fungus penicillium so this is the plant body which is known as mycelium so i have uh, taken a piece of my uh, hyphae which is which collectively known as mycelium and enlarged it to show the details of the structure so as you can see this and uh, the hyphae is composed of uh, septate cells this is septum this is septum this is septum these uh, cells contain cytoplasm in the center as you can see in the green color and this cytoplasm also contain a single nucleus which is usually haploid in the cytoplasm and uh, in the diagram you can see in the blue color the blue color spots are usually oil globules which are usually store food of this fungus and uh, between these two septum you can see a small opening which is known as septate pore through which cytoplasm of different sept uh, hyphae can um, equally distribute it to all parts of the uh, fungus because fungus rapidly grows so it tends to store and uh, transport food very efficiently through these pores to all parts of the fungus uh, thus vegetative structure is very simple and it is not complicated but today we are going to discuss in detail the reproduction or life cycle of penicillium so there are two types of life cycle one is asexual and one is sexual reproduction so first of all i am going to discuss asexual reproduction in penicillium so when the hyphae grow are to a certain limit and when unfavorable conditions reaches this fungi tries to produce large amount of spores uh, which are known as conidia uh, when as hyphae matures it produce a hypha which is known as conidiophore uh, to make spores on the surface of the hyphae this conidiophore which is a type of hyphae give rise to two more hyphae which are known as ramus these ramus germinate into metulli and then metulli germinate into oval shaped hyphae which are known as pterygmata Metulli and sterigmata are collectively known as uh, penicillus. On the surface of uh, these uh, sterigmata and metulli uh, produces large number of spores which are known as conidia which is brush like in appearance. So the arrangement of the conidia and the number of conidia depends in various species of this fungus penicillium. When conidium become mature, they are broken down from the hyphae and dispersed by wind, water or some other agent and uh, they bear unfavorable condition and then when favorable condition reaches, these conidia germinate to produce new vegetative structure. Now let's, going, uh, let's discuss the life cycle or sexual reproduction of penicillium. So first of all, we will start from here. This is a vegetative mycelium of penicillium which, is, which grows rapidly on any surface substratum. When unfavorable condition reaches and it starts to reproduce sexually, it produces a outgrowth, an outgrowth which is known as ascogonium. Some cytoplasm is transferred into this ascogonium and one nucleus also transferred to this part. Ascogonium is a uh, female uh, reproductive organ of the fungus which contain one nucleus if it contain one nucleus then it is known as uninucleate and it is at very young stage so we, we will call it young ascogonium it usually contain uh, haploid nucleus because all the fungal hyphae contain haploid nucleus 
this ascogonium uh, uh, starts to elongate and it becomes a very long elongated tube like structure which is known as ascogonium now the nucleus of the ascogonium has been multiplied by mitosis and now this structure has become multinucleate because it contain many nuclei in within the cytoplasm at the same time there is a few some hyphae of the fungus uh, they form an outgrowth which develops into an anthridial branch anthridial branch is usually male reproductive organ of this fungus so as you can see in this diagram the blue color part of the diagram shows anthridial branch which contain a haploid nucleus of male branch time has been progressing and uh, ascogonium has reached it to maximum size and maximum nuclei now it is called ascogonium now its body is known as multinucleate which are haploid nucleus anthroid has reached it to final size which also contain haploid nucleus and now some enzyme will produce a small nick in these uh, two hyphae anthridial hyphae and ascogonial hyphae so there are two processes which are going to take place first of all is plasmogamy which is union of cytoplasm and then karyogamy which is union of nuclei so after formation of a pore uh, plasmogamy will take place but there is no karyogamy yet in the next diagram we will see that both of these hyphae has combined together and ascogonium has become septate each cell contain two nuclei one from ascogonium and one from anthridium which is known as n plus n hyphae karyogamy has not taken place yet only plasmogamy uh, maybe has taken place this uh, ascogonium uh, has been surrounded by sterile hyphae which uh, usually protect the ascogonium and does not take part in any part of reproduction uh, process so many type of these cells or these hyphae collectively form a fruiting body of this fungus which contain a uh, binucleate cells now i have taken a small piece of hyphae from this fruiting body to show the internal structure so this hyphae contain binucleate cells n plus n which germinate to produce branches which are known as branched ascogonial hyphae which are also contain n plus n nuclei the terminal portion of the cell of this hyphae is known as terminal binucleate cells which are which contain both nuclei now let's move on to the next diagram which i have taken from this fruiting body so the terminal portion of the hyphae the cell lock is known as ascus mother cell which is going to produce uh, sexual spores uh, at the same time uh, lower cells also mature and form some spores in fruiting body so i have only taken this cell right over here now this is a young cell at this stage uh, karyogamy will take place both nuclei n plus n will join together and they will form 2n nucleus which is known as young cell or zygote you can say zygote or embryo now this cell is going to undergo meiosis and this stage only lasts for few minutes or few hours because it is very transient stage diploid zygote and uh, soon it develops it, it it undergoes meiosis and meiosis is a reduction division which divides the chromosome number into half four cells are produced then these four cells undergo mitosis three times and in each cell will give rise to eight spores which are known as ascospores which are all haploid in a fruiting body in a structure in a sac like structure which is known as ascus so there are many asci containing eight spores which are known as ascospores all the spores when mature in the ascus the ascus burst and ascospores are released in the atmosphere uh, where they are dispersed by wind water or some other agent these ascospores are usually haploid when they reach to us certain place any substratum under favorable condition its germ it germinate into a new vegetative mycelium and the life cycle has been completed so i hope it makes sense and i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye